Wastewater Dam presents Wastewater Math, calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example, calculate total dynamic head TDH pressure. Today's problem reads, the pump operates with three inches of mercury on the suction side of the pump and 25 PSI on the discharge side of the pump. Calculate the total dynamic head TDH pressure in feet. So the solution for day, today's problem uses the formula that calculates TDH, which equals the suction pressure in feet plus the discharge pressure in feet plus the friction loss pressure in feet. Now, there's nothing in the data in the problem that tells us the suction pressure in feet, nor does it tell us the discharge pressure in feet. So each of these have been calculated uh, and included in separate standalone videos. So what I'm going to do in the formula is use the solutions from each of those other problems and then just refer you to the formulas and the URL, uh, the calculations of those problems. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start out with the solution to our problem, which is to calculate TDH. And you can open up a blank spreadsheet. I'm using row 7. Um, you could use row 1 if you like. And you can put your cursor in column C of that row. And you can type in the description, total dynamic head TDH pressure in feet. And then you can go to the cell in column A in that row. I'm using 7A. And you can format the cell uh, as numbers with two decimals. And you can set it as bold and centered. Then you can go to the formula bar and you can type in this formula. Equal sign open parenthesis 3.4. Close parenthesis plus sign open parenthesis 57.75. Close parenthesis plus sign open parenthesis 0. Close parenthesis. And then you can press enter or the return key. And your answer of 61.15 TDH pressure in feet is your answer. So that's the answer. Well, let's go see how we calculated the suction uh, pressure, which we inserted 3.4, using this data in the problem. So let's slide on down and see how we did that. The suction lift pressure is calculated by taking the um, inches of mercury times the conversion factor to feet of head pressure of 1.133. So this is the 3 times the 1.133 is 3.40. Um, this is the formula. This is the description. And that's the URL. And that's the answer. So you can see that's where we got our 3.4 that we put into the formula here. So now let's look and see how we calculate discharge head pressure. We've got a separate standalone video for that. Um, and you can see in this one we're using PSI of 25. And we're multiplying it by the standard conversion factor from PSI to feet of head pressure, which is 2.31. So that's where we get our answer of 57.75 of head pressure and you can see the URL for the further explanation for that one and the 57.75 you see is inserted in the formula here okay now we have nothing in the um, we have zero inserted in the formula for friction loss because no friction loss is described in the problem but fr friction loss is included in TDH if the information is provided that's associated with uh, losses 
uh, due to angles in the pipes uh, and uh, the construction material. For example, cast iron might have a uh, certain friction loss that uh, PVC pipe may not have. And so if you're given that information, then you can put that into the uh, formula as well. So I hope you found this to be useful and helpful. This is almost a six-minute video. Um, if so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and I urge you to participate, interact by commenting or submitting questions. You can do that by uh, going to my website, environmentalacademy.com, fill out the email form and submit it, or send a message to the email address on the website. Uh, in any event, come back often because I'll be publishing educational videos at least once week weekly. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.